If you're a longtime user of our Sun Forgettable brush, then you're no stranger to our original water test. But if you're a new user, check this out. Our skin is comprised mostly of water, so for the purposes of this experiment, I'm using two beakers filled with plain old H2O. This represents our skin. In the first beaker, I'm going to add an SPF powder that wasn't formulated with the same high integrity minerals and superior attributes as our Sun Forgettable brush. You'll notice that as I take a whisk and start agitating the powder, the product starts sinking into the water aka our skin. Imagine what that's doing to our pores. Now, watch what happens when I take our Sun Forgettable brush and apply the powder into the second beaker of water. You notice that the minerals sit on top and even with significant agitation, the minerals don't sink to the bottom. That's because our product is formulated with physical mineral SPF filters that sit on top of the skin and deflect the sun's harmful rays. In addition, watch what happens when I stick my finger into the other SPF powder and pull it out. Yuck. But when I do the same test into the sun forgettable powder and pull my finger out, it's evenly coated with powder my fingers completely dry. That's because our product is water resistant to 80 minutes, the highest level allowed by the FDA. So which would you rather have on your skin? All physical, mineral, high protection SPF with 80 minutes water resistant or this guy?